Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, making some really good trades, and yep, let's just get into it. We can see that right now, Bitcoin is at 43,318. On the shorter time frames, we can see that looks like we are starting to roll over a little bit, but this could be a, maybe a longing opportunity, in, in my opinion, if we start to come down around maybe 42,000 or... 41,500 that would be good be, that would be a good place to long uh, we can see that the money flow is starting to increase back up on the shorter time frames like like the four hour however the one hour looks like it's starting to roll over a little bit even shorter than that 30 minute time frame starting to dip into the red a little bit so we might see a little bit of downside tonight but uh, keep a close eye on what traditional markets are doing as well you know we did have a nice update today in the markets Dow up 600 points uh, Powell did a nice little statement reassuring the markets once again that inflation is under control and they have the necessary tools to fight it and yada 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 you guys know the story I'm not going to go on about this all the time. Uh, daily time frame looks like it's starting to slow down a little bit we have a 7 now and a 2 this is probably why we're probably going to get a little bit of a bit of a buy arch opportunity towards the upside if you guys are still looking to long but once again in the bigger picture I'm still looking at the weekly time frame decreasing the money the money flow decreasing and I'd like to point out uh, I don't know if it's this chart right here it's this one that I made right here uh, basically outlining uh, when the money flow decreased back in 2018 uh, and it crossed over to the red uh, maybe I guess I guess it was like two two weeks four weeks three weeks 28 days 28 days we had a giant 50% correction and that brought us down to three thousand dollars now that doesn't mean that's exactly what's gonna happen this time right this doesn't that doesn't mean that we're gonna have a 50% decline from these levels right here obviously if if it is if it is a 50 percent decline then you're going to see bitcoin drop to exactly about twenty thousand dollars right now or because since we're at forty thousand a fifty percent decrease would bring us pretty close to twenty thousand and then once again you could probably see this uh, the same thing happen back in 2014 as well might as well add a line here as well basically back in 2014 uh you could see that maybe this took a little bit longer but overall you can see it right there 35 days we saw again another 50 percent decline this one actually wicked all the way down to 59 percent but overall around 50 percent decline so take a look at the money the weekly time frame for market cipher if you guys have it if you don't have market cipher the links in the description you guys can sign up right there and yeah always look at the money flow guys it's extremely important and it allows you to catch trends like this and that's why i'm buying my put options at the moment anyways that doesn't mean that we're gonna exactly go down you know we could definitely have a rally towards the upside but yeah moving on uh today we could see that the sir bank of russia actually down to 90 cents now on the london exchange it's actually down to one penny or four cents or something like that but year year to date it's down like 99 percent 97 percent as you can see the russian economy is starting to implode banks are starting to fail it's kind of sad to see that stuff so prayers to the russian people and, and to the ukrainian people but uh yeah moving on uh once bitcoin starts to come down you're probably going to see bitcoin coming down to 42,750 uh, after that, you're going to see some support coming in at 41,500 on the BTC TA1 chart. Uh, but if you guys want to take a look at the BTC TA2 chart, we might see some support coming in much way before that. We're going to see some support coming in at 42,000. So some strong support there. And then we have a big green resistance box. Obviously, this acts as support and resistance. So right now, if it comes back down, it's going to act as support. <laughs> it didn't act as much resistance here during the during that big that big event we saw when the russians were buying were buying bitcoin and it was a big uh, short squeeze as well so it went up 16 percent that day anyways if we do come down entering some longs at 42,000 is very possible and then you can might catch in you know a quick bounce up towards the upside maybe reach about 46,000. again once we get rejected at this yellow line once again i probably enter a short position and then write it down from there and Let's take a look at the weekly, sorry, not the weekly time, the moving averages. The 21 weekly moving average. Looks like we are getting rejected at these levels. 45,122. Still acting as strong resistance, but this doesn't mean, you know, this little this little rally is, is it's not, it might not be over. You know, we're, we're just gonna have to see 
what happens in the traditional markets as well oil now over a hundred and fifteen dollars a barrel so it's gonna start to hurt at the gas tank for you guys that do drive cars so start to uh find ways to conserve money <laughs> and wait for the u.s to try to push oil down temporarily if if they can even do that i know they have the strategic reserve of oil they're about to release 30 million barrels of oil and from there on we expect some lower gas prices coming maybe in the coming weeks coming months but for now it's starting to hurt at the, at, at the gas station and ethereum as well once again trying to hold support at 2888 if we do get uh, if we do break these levels you can expect some support coming in at 2633 or 2628 and 2575 so after and at it and even then after that you still have some major support coming in at 2400 and 2300 as we can see these levels held the support quite nicely during that bounce if you guys would along this area you'd be up over 24 percent right now so even, even with leverage you can make up to even with 10 leverage you could be up 200% I believe Daniel is in some longs at the moment probably longing right off these levels right here at 34 600 I think he's like 200 300% profit he's only using 10 leverage but right now yeah he's probably up about 240% so congratulations to Daniel and tomorrow I'm gonna come out with another chart we're gonna be looking at uh, war times and the in the traditional markets and to see why it's a great buying opportunity or is it a selling up is it is it a buying opportunity or is it going to be uh time to sell you know so i'll be working on that chart for you guys tomorrow anyways thanks for supporting this channel guys we're almost at 8,500. smash a like if you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to support the channel you guys can use my link to sign up off big get and that's where i do my trading thank you so much peace